is Kyle with KidCraft and we're here to assemble the Servant Style Play Kitchen. With only 15 parts and easy craft assembly, it should be a breeze. Now before you get started, you need to make sure you have everything you need. The assembly instructions, the hardware pack, and a Phillips head screwdriver. But if you do use a drill, make sure it's on its lowest torque setting. The first thing you need to do is open the box and lay out all the parts, including any smaller components. Then check the part number here versus the assembly instructions to make sure that you have everything. Step number one is installing part number one onto part number two. You want to make sure that these grooves align and that this bracket is on top. Now before you fully tighten your screws, you want to tighten them by hand first. The next step is installing part number three onto part number one on these holes here. You want to make sure that the grooves align and that these holes are on top. You're going to secure them with two B screws from the underside. All right, the next step is installing part number four. You're going to want to make sure that these grooves align and that these holes are on top. You're going to secure the part with two A screws. All right, next step is installing part number five, the skirt. But for you to see it better, we're going to turn this part around. You want to make sure that your angles line up and snug this part down inside. And you're going to install it with four A screws, two on each side. And you want to make sure that you set each screw before you fully tighten them all down. All right, the next step is installing part number six. You want to turn this back around and you want to make sure that this bracket for the door is on the top and up in front. You also want to use four A screws to secure this, two on each side. And you want to make sure that you only hand tighten them until you get all of them set and then you will fully tighten them. Now the next step is installing knobs on a part number seven. You're going to first put in the clicker noise. Then push the knobs through. Now while holding the knobs, you're going to flip the part over and while applying pressure, you're going to clip this on on its lowest possible setting. And then you will have the knobs installed. All right, to install part number seven onto the main structure, we're going to need to stand it up. I'm going to turn it around so you can see it better. Now we install part number seven with the knobs facing forward and this angle part on the outside. You're going to want to install this with two A screws on each side. As a reminder to make sure that you hand tighten each one before fully tightening all of them. The next step is installing both these part number eight back panels. You want to make sure that the angles are on the outsides. And whenever you slide them down, you want to seat the panel completely in the grooves so they don't go in and out. Same goes for each side. The next step is installing the faucet onto the main countertop. You want to align these pegs in with these holes. Well, now while holding it in, flip it over and install one C-screw here. Next step you're going to want to do is install part number 10 and 11. You're going to want to make sure that you have the grooves facing the inside. You're going to screw it from the bottom with two B screws. The next step is installing the countertop onto the main structure. You want to use six B screws and align the holes and tighten them by hand before you fully tighten all of the screws. After you've fully tightened each screw, you want to make sure that they're flush with the top of the surface. Next is take part number 12 and install it onto the countertop. You slide it into the grooves in parts 10 and 11. Next take part number 13 and align this groove with the backsplash. Then you're going to install two B screws to the top. Next step is installing the door stopper in the correct orientation. You want to make sure the stopper part is toward the front of the kitchen. You want to line these two pegs on the door stopper with these two holes here in this panel. 
Now we're going to install the stopper on the other side. To install the doors, you need to use the spring-loaded pin hinges. You put the bottom pin in first, then you press down on the top pin until you hear it snap into place. And then you have the fully installed door. With this door, we're going to start by putting in the top pin first. Then, to press in the bottom pin, slide it in until it clicks. And then you have the second door installed. Okay, now we have the doors installed. Next is to install the sink. One thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you flex these tabs out slightly. It'll keep it from coming out. Now, the sink simply just press fits into there. It's removable in case you need to clean it. All you have to do is press the tabs on the inside, and then you can pop it back out. And then it'll press right back in. And the tabs prevent it from coming back out. Now your kitchen is provided with a safety strap and a wall anchor to prevent tip over. We recommend that you install the safety strap onto the wall first, and then install it onto the item here. Well that concludes the assembly of our servant style play kitchen. If you have any questions or concerns, please click the link below to contact our customer service department.